Okay, weekends winding down. We've been dry and warm. We'll continue to stay that way. Maybe a little more cloud cover here and there during the week. Fog again. So overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning, we'll keep an eye on that fog, or you're going to keep an eye on it when you're driving. Uh, the breezy days, the winds will pick up. That could put an end to our fog and then a cold front later on in the week. So what happened today? 82 above average again. We were at 91 degrees back in 1925. So we're looking to continue with above average warm temperatures as well as those dry conditions. But there's an end in sight. And we're going to talk about that in the next two to three to three and a half minutes. All right, temperature wise again, warming up into the 80s and really only falling into the 60s at night. That looks to continue. We're having a nice little low level flow of moisture move in. That's causing some of our uh, fog problems, but that's also keeping the dew points up and preventing temperatures from falling overnight, but those start to fall later on in the week again with some frontal activity. Future visibility now after four o'clock in the morning to about seven or eight. That's when we can run into this fog. So maybe some of it's gone by the time you head out the door for work and school as long as it doesn't linger because it looks to uh, clear out of the area um, pretty much maybe that seven to eight in the morning time frame. A lot of us might already be to our destination. So dew points. Yes, these have been on the rise after dropping from our latest frontal approach. But yeah, the moisture is pushing in from the Gulf. Some of these getting up close to 70 once again, where you know a few days ago, 76, 78, very stuffy, but not as bad compared to a week ago. All right, here's our future tracker. High pressures in place. It's pushing that low level moisture from the Gulf into the area. So yeah, we're seeing some cloud development. Nothing in the way of rain is as high as pushing down, preventing that lift and preventing those showers. But what's going to happen? The high will start to scooch off. More moisture will continue to move in. That's going to open up the door now as that high vanquishes the area. Now that cold front starts to head our way. Probably during the early morning hours of Friday, this front should make it into the crossroads. Going to bring cooler air down and could strike up some showers or two. So yeah, we can see some rain with this with this front. Maybe some windy uh, windy conditions as well as a cool down when this air filters in from the north behind the front and in to the crossroads. All right, here's our marine forecast. Here's what we got. Look at that water slowly going down 68 degrees. Seas two to three feet. That'll keep our bays on the smooth side. Nothing going on in the tropics for us, but there is something out there in the eastern Pacific. Yes, we have tropical storm Piler, and that's at about 45, 40 miles per hour right now, but really not going to cause any problems staying out there in the open Pacific. Not going to really, yeah, not really amount to much. It's going to start to weaken and fizzle out out there in the middle of the ocean. All right, here's what we got then for this evening in the 60s, mostly cloudy and warm overnight, dropping down to 61 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Again, patchy fog, maybe after four o'clock in the morning to about seven, seven thirty in the morning. So again, take it on the slower side if you are headed to work and school tomorrow morning. So tomorrow, 83 degrees, a little breeze. So those winds start to pick up again, early morning fog, that patchy fog. So looking ahead, here is what we got. So everyone hopefully uh, push the clocks back. We gained an hour this week. We'll stay warm for much of the week until that boundary I showed you starts to push into the area. Look at we go from 82 to 68 degrees and then some rain chances as well as that boundary moves into some of that moisture from the Gulf.